Hi, I'm Daniel Musgrove, and it's my honor and privilege to bring to you Musgrove Music Gospel Hour. Lord, I'm Bishop Thomas E. Douglas of the Holy Temple Holiness Church of Deliverance. Holy Temple located at 3798 Northwest 19th Street in the city of Lauder Hill, Florida. Call a friend and tell him now that the Holy Temple Holiness Church of Deliverance broadcast is now on the air, bringing you a message of faith, hope, and deliverance. Well, people of God, this is the Power of Prayer broadcast through the spoken word of God. We have with us today two exciting people. We have Dr. Brittany uh, Levette, a doctor of podiatry, and Dr. Felipe Peterson, in the same discipline. I'm excited, amen, about the two of them being on the broadcast today. As you can see, we are in the park, glory be to God, and we are having a picnic, a feast with the Lord. But, but in the midst of having a feast with God, uh, we want to let you know that God uh, is an awesome God. These two young people, amen, have come through many dangers, toils, and snares, but they are now, uh, amen, ready to enter into a profession of podiatry. I want you to greet the people, Dr. Felipe and Dr. Brittany. Yes, sir. First and foremost, my name is also uh, Deacon Felipe Peterson. Glory be to God. And uh, first and foremost, the Bible tells us that whatever you do in word or in deed to give thanks in Jesus Christ because this is the will of God. And so it is a blessing to be out here today to, to educate the, uh, the people of God and the saints in the community as well concerning not only their, their, their spirituality but also their health because the Bible says that faith is dead without works. And so unless you apply the principles that you, that you that you learn in, in the medicine, you'll never get better. And it applies spiritually as well. I'm so excited about this young lady who's coming on next. Amen. I had the pleasure to meet her and the spirit of the living God is flowing out of her vessel. Amen. She is smart, brilliant, intellectual, but she loves the spirit of the living God. Brittany, say hi to the people. Hi. Thank you guys for watching. It's my pleasure to be here today. My name is Brittany. And I just want to say may all well be with you guys. And thank you once again. Awesome, awesome. Listen, we want to talk today about the Word of God that, that deals with in the, the 90th chapter of the book of Psalms, the scripture in the first verse declared that the Lord thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Listen to this, people of God. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou has formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. While we are in this park and we see the beautiful creation of God, the sun, amen, the coolness of the wind, the trees, the vegetation, amen, we know that we serve an awesome God. We're living in a confused, complex, and pressured Time. Uh, but I'm so absolutely excited that even in the midst of these times, we see young people like them. Absolutely. Glory be to God. Amen. Serving God and yet attaining, amen, pinnacles and, amen, and uh, meeting goals that they have set for themselves. I'm, I'm excited about this young lady because not only is she a doctor, glory be to God, not only is she saved, but she's a mother. Amen. And we were teaching the other day, amen, during Mother's Day, train up a child in the way that they should go. Uh, and then when they get older, they will not depart. Let me hear your feelings on being a godly mother. Well, thank you, Bishop. I believe by being a godly mother, my daughter will have a closer relationship with God, which is my biggest thing that I want right now in life so she won't ever make the same mistakes as I once did and I feel by showing her the right way to be a woman she would be a righteous woman and that's my biggest goal in life Bishop Amen. and she said that that daughter won't make the same mistake that you have made but I want you to understand that your mistakes listen to me some of your mistakes have now become your mission come on and give God a great big round of applause this is my son in the gospel amen glory be to God and oftentimes as we have our father and son our, our spiritual talk and then I laid the foundational principles on him son hear the instructions of your father and do not depart from the instructions 
instructions of your mother. We're living in a climate now where uh, uh, the world is teaching disrespect to mother and father. Do you know? Glory be to God, that when God created the heavens and the earth, and then he created man, he created marriage, because he created Eve, and he brought Eve to Adam. And after he created marriage, he created family, because Eve and Adam, amen, had children. And after family, he created government. There must be order in everything that we do for God. Amen. There's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is death. Look, uh, uh, I was reminded in the Bible, uh, Deacon Felipe, um, when Moses died, uh, and the Bible said the children of Israel and Joshua mourned uh, for 30 days. Uh, and after 30 days, God dealt with Joshua and the children of Israel and said, and Moses, my servant, is dead. He said, now you rise up and take my people into the promise. Now listen, some of you out there, young people, you might have had a dead phase in your life, uh, a moment of difficulty, glory be to God, uh, that you are not proud of. Uh, but I want you to know that that part of your life is dead. Uh, now rise up and take your victory. Uh, glory be to God. I often tell, amen, young people, that if you lost your testimony, find it again. Uh, come on, give God a hand, praise. Uh, pick up, amen, where you left off. Uh, there is no temptation taken you, uh, but such which is common unto man. Uh, and God, who is faithful and just, will with that temptation prepare a way of escape. I'm looking around the park, and I see all of these young people, the future generation, uh, the future leaders of our nation, and the future leaders of our church. Do you have any wisdom uh, that you want to depart? Amen to them. Absolutely. You know, I came into this country um, over 20 years ago, and unfortunately, I came from a very underprivileged home. You know, I came from a, a broken home. My parents were divorced at a young age, and as a result, it really put me in a bind in which I felt like I was kind of really going against the current. But through and in spite of all of that, I can tell you, I think that the, the greatest uh, sense of wisdom that I can impart is that you can become everything and anything that you want to be in God if you put God first. Because, you know, especially I think the greatest thing we can do is that, especially while we're out here in this particular community, to let them know that they can become everything they want to if they first apply the foundations of the scripture awesome. and continue to follow that path until they get the opportunity. Sometimes the opportunity is not there, but you can create it and make it happen if you pursue and have diligence and perseverance. According to the scriptures, it says, let your light so shine that men might see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do you know the 91st Psalm declared that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is a secret place. That's right. There is a place, amen, that we can get in God, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Brittany, there's a place that we can get in God that even our disappointments hey, cannot destroy our hope and our trust in him. You are a young lady that have achieved much in such a short period of time. Uh, and I want you to kind of accentuate, amen, uh, to the people of God in television land, uh, how you kept it together even in the midst of this academic struggle. Believe it or not, Bishop, um, it was actually God who kept me together. Because there was plenty of times I drift off and I lost focus of what I, my main focus of being in medical school was. And he found me. He got me back on the right track. So all glory goes to God, believe it or not. And I thank him because in times of despair, he was my rock. And I thank him for bringing me here today, now. Because there's many a times I felt that I didn't deserve to be here. But it was through God and through him sending great people such as Deacon Felipe in my life to help me out and to see my way. So... Thank you. My God, my God, I have a son and a daughter sitting at the table, amen, and we're feasting on the success of a God-fearing man and a God-fearing woman. Amen. I'm so excited because what we are hearing in the news this day, amen, is, uh, is these uh, descriptions and connotations of our children, amen, uh, even the world is calling them thugs, uh-huh. Yeah. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Uh, but what we have sitting here uh, is somebody who understood if I can't keep it together myself. Uh, amen. The Lord can hold it up for me. We used to pray God prop us up on every leaning side. 
Amen. And when you seek ye first the kingdom of heaven uh, and all of its righteousness, amen, these things will God add unto you. We would never would have thought 12 or 13 years ago when we initiated ministry here in South Florida that some of the young people that we were working with would end up being doctors. Come on, give God a hand praise. Whether you are excited or not, we're trying to let you know, uh, amen, that whatever you put your mind to, uh, you can accomplish. For the Bible said we are who God uh, says we are. Listen, they have a responsibility. They have a responsibility to become intercessors. Huh? Amen. They have accomplished. The Bible said, when thou art converted, uh, strengthen thy brother. Uh, this is something that we need to, amen, highlight and emphasize. Um, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm tired, uh, amen, of the media portraying our children, uh, amen, as, as uh, things that are not good, uh, amen. But we look around and we see so many good things going on in the community. As we look around in this park, we can see so many young children who have the potential to replicate uh, what these young people, amen, have done. Even sitting in this doctor's lap uh, is a young lady, uh, amen, that can carry, amen, the legacy of her mama. Uh, Y'all better give God a hand break. Uh, what I'm excited about is this. Uh, except God build the house, uh, they that labor, uh, labor in vain. Uh, but if God built it, uh, you can't destroy it. Uh, I want you to understand that the power of God, uh, amen, is moving in Roosevelt Park this morning uh, because God allowed us to see uh, not only should we take the gospel in between the four walls in the church uh, but we must take the gospel to the hedges and the highways uh, and compel men and women uh, to come to Christ uh, glory be to God the Lord is our shepherd yes. according to the scriptures we shall not want uh, amen but according to the Bible amen in John it says let not your heart be troubled mother let not your heart be be troubled, Father. Your child might be gone or straight out. But we are telling you today that we're praying through the power of prayer and the spoken word of God that we would disarm the power of the devil that is over your child and subdue that spirit in the name of Jesus. What the word of God declares because everything in this world as we know it, it will falter, it will disappoint you, even your own family at times. So what I've had to turn to do is to turn to this word of God. And there's a particular scripture that I like to harbor to and it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? But by taking heed to the word of God and the word of God, it gives you sound doctrines of, of wisdom of, uh, as to how to carry yourself in different scenarios, different situations. And when you combine that with, with, the proper, uh, with the proper mentors and the people that are truly looking and have your best interests in mind, you can't, have, you can't help but to have a, a successful and a prosperous path to look forward to in spite of your troubles. God is still able is what I've learned. Now, one of the things I want to touch on, and I always touch on it because I believe it's important in this series in time. I want the world to know out there that the Bible declared that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Now, let me say, I heard somebody make this statement. Why would you look for a playmate when you can have a soulmate? Come on, say amen, somebody. And so what God is trying to show us, hey, you can live holy. You can be kept by the power of God. And if you falter, the Bible said he's faithful and just to cleanse you from all righteousness, to forgive you. Glory be to God. And we know, amen, that the earthly realm does not hold, amen, our existence and our destiny. We understand that the power of God uh, is presented through the deutimus, amen, the great intestinal fortitude uh, that God puts in the, amen, the heart of our belly. He declared that out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you're looking for love uh, in all the wrong places, uh, I declare, amen, if you will draw nigh unto him, Right, right. He will draw nigh unto you, and he will put you in the presence uh, of accomplished, anointed, and blessed people like these. Uh, say amen, somebody. I, I praise God. I praise God because uh, marriage is honorable, uh, and the bed is undefiled. Well, our time uh, is almost up. This is Bishop Thomas E. Douglas, Dr. Brittany Levett, and Dr. Felipe Peterson, and the young doctor in training there. Amen. We're so excited about being at the park. 
here in Roosevelt Park where there is a young generation playing, amen, they're older folk eating, amen, we have chefs cooking, uh, but one thing that we want you to know, come over here uh, where the table is spread uh, and the feast of the Lord is going on. Remember this, walk in victory and know that God uh, have heard your cry and he will answer your call in Jesus' name.